redox titrations. The titrations in which redox reaction occurs is known as redox titrations. And what is redox reaction? The combination of oxidation and reduction, combination of oxidation and reduction reactions, oxidation and reduction reaction is known as redox reaction. So, what is oxidation and what is reduction? Oxidation and reduction can be defined in different ways. Oxidation means removal of electron, removal of electron and reduction means addition of electron or gaining of electron. So, in redox reaction, one of the oxidizing agent, oxidizing agent is titrated against a reducing agent. What is mean by oxidizing agent and reducing agent? So, oxidizing agent, oxidizing another substance, that means it gain electron, gain electron. So, oxidizing agents gain electron from which the substance which is undergoing oxidation. So, that means these agents itself undergo reduction. These agents itself undergo reduction. While in the case of reducing agents, reducing agents are the substance or the agents which reduce another reactant which is participating in the redox reaction. Reduce another substance means it gives electrons to the reducing substance. That means gives electron, it gives electron. So, Actually, the reducing substance itself undergo oxidation reactions. Oxidation reactions. Examples of oxidizing agents and reducing agents normally used in redox titrations are KMnO4 or potassium permanganate. And K2Cr2O7 dichromate, potassium dichromate, potassium dichromate has some oxidizing agents normally used in redox titrations. And the reducing agents used are oxalic acid or oxalic acid or more salt. More salt, the chemical name of more salt is ferrous ammonium sulfate. Ferrous ammonium sulfate. So, in redox titrations, Oxidizing agents titrated against reducing agents. During the redox reactions, electron transfer, electron transfer occur. So, electrons will be transferred from reducing agents to oxidizing agents. So, at the end of the reaction or at the equivalent point, redox reactions completed. Okay, let's go to the details of Redox reactions. The titrations by using potassium permanganate is known as permanganometric titrations. Permanganometric. Potassium permanganate is a violet color crystal. 
violet colored crystals and these are oxidizing agents oxidizing agents the main characteristics of the titrations using KMnO4 is these titrations do not require an indicator do not require indicators since this is a colored compound during this reaction KMnO4 itself acts as an indicator so we do not require any other indicators to find out the end point of these reactions in KMnO4 manganese exists as Mn7 plus and during permanganometric titrations this Mn7 plus ion is converted to Mn2 plus that is Mn7 plus reduced to Mn2 plus by accepting 5 electrons and the redox reactions of potassium permanganate is more effective in acidic solutions. The suitable acid used to make potassium permanganate acidic is H2SO4, sulfuric acid. Because sulfuric acid has no effect on potassium permanganate. That's why we use sulfuric acid to make potassium permanganate acidic. If you write the redox reactions of potassium permanganate in acidic solution, it will be like this. Mn7 plus react with 8H plus ions and it gain 5 electrons gives Mn2 plus plus 4H2O. This is the basic reaction of man potassium permanganate. Reaction is manganese 7, Mn7 plus plus 8H plus plus 5 electron gives Mn2 plus plus 4H2O. Now by using this equation we can calculate the equivalent mass of KMnO4. Equivalent mass is defined as the mass of one equivalent of a compound and it is calculated by using the equation equivalent mass equal to molecular mass divided by number of electrons involved in the reaction that is number of electron losses or number of electrons gained. Now if we calculate the equivalent mass of KMnO4, the molecular mass of KMnO4 is mass of atomic mass of potassium is 39.09 then manganese is 54.94 and oxygen is 60. Here 4 oxygens are there. So 16 into 4 equal to 64. So total molecular mass. Molecular mass equal to 39.09 plus 54.94 plus 64 okay this about 158.03 and equivalent mass equal to equivalent mass equal to molecular mass 158.03 divided by number of electrons participate in the reaction or number of electrons transferred during the reaction during the oxidizing reaction of manganese Mn7 plus is converted into Mn2 plus. That is 5 electrons are gained by manganese 7 plus and reduced to manganese 2 plus. So number of electrons involved are 5. So divided by 5 equal to approximately 31.6. Equivalent mass of 
potassium permanganate is 31.6. Potassium permanganates act as powerful oxidizing agents in acid solutions, in acid medium, and the best acid is sulfuric acid. Can we use any other acids in, instead of sulfuric acid? So what happens if we use hydrochloric acid instead of sulfuric acid? If we use hydrochloric acid, potassium permanganate react with hydrochloric acid. Chlorine will be consumed during the reaction. So reaction will be MnO4 minus 2MnO4 minus and in addition to that chlorine also chlorine ions also react with chlorine ions also participate in this reaction and we'll get 2MN2 plus plus 5Cl2 plus 8H2 this will be the reaction. So, we cannot use hydrochloric acid in permanganometric titrations. The best acid is sulfuric acid. Now, let us go to the details of some permanganometric titrations. First of all, we are going to study the titration of KMnO4 against more salt. More salt is ferrous ammonium sulfate, or we can write it as ammonium, ammonium, iron, two sulfate. So the name itself says that iron is in two plus oxidation state. So during the reaction. Fe2 plus ions in more salt is converted to Fe3 plus. That is Fe2 plus is oxidized to Fe3 plus by the oxidizing agent KMnO4. And the entire reaction can be written like this. 5 Fe2 plus plus MnO4 minus plus 8H plus. The H plus is from the acid medium. It gives 5 Fe3 plus plus Emn2 plus plus 4H2O. So, 1 mole of MnO4, 1 mole of MnO4, Oxidize 5 moles of Fe2 plus. So the stoichiometric ratio, stoichiometric ratio of this redox reaction equal to number of moles of KMnO4, number of moles of KMnO4 divided by number of moles of more salt. So, the ratio will be 1 by 5. Now, move on to the procedure of permanganometric titrations against more salt. First of all, we have to prepare a standard solution of more salt. To prepare Standard solution of more salt, first of all, we have to weigh, we have to take a non amount of more salt, then and make up the solution in a standard flask. So, one thing we have to remember during the making up of more salt solution is. Do not add water directly into more salt. If we add water directly into more salt, what happens means Fe2 plus in more salt will be converted into Fe3 plus. 
So before adding water, we have to add little bit amount of dilute sulfuric acid, dilute H2SO4 to, to more salt. So the addition of more salt helps to prevent hydrolysis of hydrolysis of more salt. That means the conversion of Fe2 plus into Fe3 plus is prevented by the addition of dilute sulfuric acid. Then, so after making the solution, we have to transfer a non amount of the standard Morsol solution into a conical flask. So then, now we can titrate this against k Already told that we do not require any indicator in this reaction because KN mono 4 itself acts as the indicator. That is the color and at the end point a light violet color will be appear on the solution. So first of all we have to add KN mono 4 in drop wise. We should add KN mono 4 in drop wise. If we add a large amount of KMnO4 into the solution, what happens means KMnO4, potassium permanganate will be converted into hydrated, hydrated manganese dioxide. That is, it will be converted into MnO2 H2O. To prevent this conversion, first we have to add KMnO4 in drop wise. So after adding two or three drops, uh, when this color disappears, we can we can add large amount of KMnO4. We can add KMnO4 fastly into the more salt solution. So during the titration also, we have to add a little bit sulfuric acid into this conical flask. Mm. That is for what? to enhance the reaction because the action of KMnO4 is more in acidic medium. That is why we add sulfuric acid to the conical flask. Okay, this is all about the reaction of KMnO4 against small salt. Now move on to the second reaction that is KMnO4 against oxalic acid. Titration of KMnO4 against oxalic acid. Oxalic acid is H2C2O4 2H2O hydrated oxalic acid. So the end of reaction will be like this. Oxalic acid is oxidized by KMnO4 and uh, MnO4 minus will be reacted with the two moles of KMnO4 potassium permanganate will be react with 5 moles of C2O4 2 minus ions in presence of H plus ions, 16 H plus ions, gives the C2O4 2 minus will be oxidized to CO2, 10 moles of CO2 plus Mn2 plus because Mn. 7 plus is converted to reduced to Mn2 plus plus 8 H2O. So, if we observe this reaction, we can find out that the stoichiometric ratio of this reaction, stoichiometric ratio will be number of moles of KMnO4 divided by number of moles of oxalic acid. So it will be 2 divided by 5. The stoichiometric ratio is 2 divided by 5. Actually, this reaction is happened in 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. 60 to 70 degrees Celsius is required to enhance the titration because there is a chance of back titration. There is a chance of back titration. 
the back titration can be stopped by removing carbon dioxide. So, 60 to 70 degrees Celsius is required to expel the carbon dioxide formed during this reaction. So, by using this temperature range, we can prevent the back titration. This is all about the oxalic acid titration. So, before titrate, we have to heat oxalic acid solution. Okay.